Alisa, I um I wanted to do this session with you again, and I'm really grateful that you agreed to do it. I just wanted to first tell you that when I put the first session up, so many people were so thrilled to hear you, and they wanted me to tell you that they love you, they love you so much, and they're so glad to hear that you're on the other side and that you're feeling good and that you found peace. And I just wanted to tell you that. And they all say hello. And they wanted to know how you enjoyed your trip before you actually got to the Cecil Hotel because they know that you were on, you know, vacation. And before you got to the Cecil Hotel and all these things happened, did you at least have a good time before that? Okay, and um, there's another question. You know, they said that you had a couple of roommates. You were rooming with them. They said that you weren't getting along with your roommates. And the roommates said that they didn't want to be with you and they moved you into your own room. What happened with that? Can you tell us? Did you know that pressing the elevator buttons, you press one that would keep the door open? I know you said that you were hoping to get away when you press those elevator buttons. Did you know that one of them that you press kept the door open? Were you aware of that? Can you tell us when everything started that day? Did it start when you got up? Did it start a few hours after? What's When did it start that day? Was it in the night that this happened, that you ended up on the roof and in the water tank? Or, or was it in the day, the afternoon, the middle of the night? What did the person say, you know, as they were pushing you? Did they say anything or did they not say anything? Did they come up behind you and surprise you? Or did they threaten you? The person you said who was fat, um, who was that? Do you know who they were or what did they do? person in the Grateful Dead shirt, what did they do? Did they bring you up to the roof or what? The person on the roof, were they a resident of the hotel? Was there somebody on the roof who, like, lived in the neighborhood? I know that was a bad neighborhood, the neighborhood that was actually known as Skid Row. And, you know, everyone knows what Skid Row is supposed to be. left with the impression that the door to the roof was always left open or at least it was often left open and people could go up there and party am i right or am i missing that do i misunderstand <laughs>
Did you go to the roof with the intention of going to a party? Um, or were you, were you forced to the roof? You said in the last time that they told you you were going to go swimming or they said you could go swimming. Did you think there was a pool on the roof? Okay. Um, now, I got a question. Do you think the police know more than they're telling the public? Okay, um, so what do you think they know? So, have they told your family these things? I can barely hear what you're saying, but it seems like it's pretty intense. It's funny, on this setting, your words cut off. Uh, the other one that seemed to fade, more of these just fade faster. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just saying that to myself because I'm thinking of the settings. I already asked you things like, do you have anything to say to the people? Let's see, some other things that they asked. They just wanted to know some of the stranger behavior, like why did you get in and out of the elevator several times? Um, could you tell them that? You know, I'm really, really, really honored that you're talking to us, especially since I have asked you to come back again just you know, days after the first time we talked. Um, that makes me feel really honored. Um, and I just want to say thank you. And um, so I know I asked you this before, but do you have anything you want to say to the listeners? And so many of them are very, very happy that you're, that you're okay now. And um, do you want to tell them a little bit about what it's like on the other side? I know you're happy, but could you tell them that? So again, I want to thank you for coming, and I just want to say thank you, and uh, we all love you, and thank you for coming back to this side to talk to us, and I know you're going to return back to your heavenly bliss, and I know you spent a lot of time, like you told me before, before we started recording, that you spent a lot of time with your parents in the light and giving them great encouragement, and I think that's wonderful with your your whole family and your siblings, and, and you're a beautiful person. Um, so we're going to say goodbye now, okay, if that's all right with you. And at your request, I'm making it a very short. Please subscribe, like the video, turn on notifications. Thumbs up. Tell your friends. Post it wherever you like. Late. See you later. Love you guys. I really want to say love you guys. I did. Bye.